Hey guys, in this video I'm going to use ChatGPT to build a blog using Django and I'm going to ask ChatGPT about everything that I need to use for code and similar. If you don't know what ChatGPT is yet, you have probably lived under a rock for the last months. ChatGPT is an AI that you can ask about almost anything you want and it can even code for you. But I think we need to be careful with the code we get and make sure that it's working and similar. So if I go to my Visual Studio code, I just created an empty project, which mm, doesn't have anything here yet. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT and just start a new chat. And then I know that I'm going to have a blog application in the Django app. So first let me just ask, how do I create a new app here? How to create a new Django app. Okay, so I just have to follow these steps, go to the command line, I'm in the directory, start app, app name, replace app name with the one I want to have, blah blah blah. Next you need to add app to the project settings, usually called settings.py, inside the list of installed apps. Okay, nice. Okay, so now you may get information about how we add things to the models.py, urls, use.py, similar, nice. Okay, so let me just copy this, go back to the command line, paste it here, and then I'm going to call this for blog. Okay, and I need to add this inside the installed apps, so let me go to settings.py and just add blog here. Great. And then I need a database model for storing the posts. So can you give me an example of a, a database model for a Django blog post, for example. Let's see what I get then. Yes, here is an example. So this is importing this one. I think that's already imported. If I just go to model.py, from DB import models. Yes, I do not need to attach it to user, but maybe I should since this is in the example. Yes, so copy this first, paste it below here. And then if I just go back, then I can copy all of this and paste. So now I get the post database model with the title, char field set to max length 200, content, and then the author, which is a foreign key connected to the user. And if we delete the user, we also delete all of the posts. I have a created date, which has the auto now add true. So when this is added in the database, this is automatic fill out. And when we save this, this will be set to updated. And we have a string representation of the class as well. Nice. So I can actually just save this. Maybe you should ask how to migrate this. Blah, blah, blah. Here we get the information about the different fields. To run the migration scripts for Django. I know how to do this, but I just want to see what I get when I ask this. Make sure you have created a database, added it to the installed apps. And then I run the migrate like that. If you have made any changes since the last migration, you need to create a new migration script. Okay, I can replace app name. So let me just copy this. Go back, paste blog. So now it created the initial file inside there where we want to create a new model post. And then we can go back and run the migrate script. And I haven't done this yet for this project, so I can do it for the whole project. So just paste it like that. So now I have a new file, dbsqli3. Nice. Okay, then we can check how to run the server. How to run. Django dev server. Let me see what we get then. 
It's very nice that when I ask this, I also get a simple explanation of how this works and similar. So I can actually just click copy code, run server, go back here, open it up. Nice. So here it is. So now I want to know how I can use the Tailwind CSS CDN because I want to include this. How to include the Tailwind CSS CDN. So maybe I even get an example of how the base.html file can be. Open a project base.html, usually in base blah blah blah. Add the following, okay. But I want a whole example. Okay, so you can see that since I'm using this as a CDN, I need to be connected to the internet. If not, I have to download this. Can you give me a simple example of how to use the Tailwind CDN? Maybe I get a whole page then. Yes, so then I get a few things here. So even though this isn't very quick, it's definitely much faster that I can write myself. So if I just copy this now, go back and create a new template. So first begin with the templates folder and then a new file here called, uh, sorry, blog a new folder. Delete this one, move to trash, create a new folder blog and then in here base.html and I can just paste this. So now I want to create a new view that I can initialize and use this file. So how to create a very simple Django view. So then I get the explanation for how that is working as well. Okay, I do not want to return and render the HTML HTTP response, I want to render a template. So let me just stop this. How to render a template using Django. Because I want to use that function. And the problem now is that if I didn't know that that was existing, then I didn't know how to ask ChatGPT for this. So that's a little bit dumb thing here, but let me see what I get here now. Yes, so here I got this. So if I just copy that, go back to views.py, copy and paste, home, and I want to use blog slash base.html. And then if I see here that I now have the render function, but I also need to add this to the views.py. Um, so, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I can just stop generating that one. But I need to import this to the urls.py file. So copy this, go back here, open up urls.py, remove this ugly comment, and then just paste it. So you can see here that I import the home view I just created from blog.views import home. And then I just need to add this to the list up here. And save. So if I now go to the browser and refresh, I should see the home page we created, which includes the Tailwind CDN. Okay, this doesn't exist, so I get the 404 error. The URL for the Tailwind CSS didn't work. Let me see what they say then. There's an updated example, maybe that will work. At least it's a different URL, so let me copy this here. Go back to paste.html. Save, back and refresh. And now this seems to be working nice. By the way, if you want to learn even more Django or view from me, you should check out my website codewitzstein.com. The site has many premium courses and a lot of awesome blog posts.
and for as little as $20 per month you will get access to all of my content and you will be able to track your progress, you can talk to me and similar. So go to codewithstein.com after the video and sign up. So now we have Tailwind CSS and we have a very simple front page, but I think that I do not want to use the base.html here, I want to know how I can extend this instead. So uh, then I need to know uh, how to extend a template using Django. So then hopefully I get some information about how to use the block. This, now this even tells me how this is working and how to use it. So I can begin by copying this one for the title. This should be up in the head. I can replace this one. And I even have one for the content. Let me copy this the header and the footer. I want to come back to those later. Just paste it in there and save. And then I made it possible to extend this. So now I need to create a child HTML template file that can be home.html. So in here, new file, home.html. So then you just need to know how to extend the base template. Yes, copy this, paste, and I know that the URL is blog slash base.html. Um, then, yes, so I need to create a new view where I specify the template we created there, but ours is called home.html. So just replace like that. So if I now go back to the browser and refresh, then we should see the new page. Yes, nice. And if I go to view source, then you can see that this is the code I get from base.html and this and this is from the home.html. Great. So now I want to ask the chat GPT to create a very simple menu for the Tailwind. Can you create a simple menu for a Tailwind project? Let's see what we get then. So it even generates the mobile menu and the buttons we need there. Great. It's even more than what I asked for, but we always need a mobile optimized version anyways. So a little problem now is that it stopped generating the code here. But let me take everything that I can from this. If I just go down to the mobile menu to paste.html and paste it above there. Then I can close the nav and we'll see how this is looking now. So then you can see here that I have a simple menu and we have some menu items here and the logo and similar. Great. So it doesn't look perfect but it looks good enough. So now I can just tweak it if I wanted to don't know why it doesn't generate the whole code, but yes, that's how it is now. So the next step now is to just uh, make sure that this model is registered in the admin interface so that I can add data there. So how to register a model in the admin interface for Django. Okay, so I need to create the admin.py. If that isn't already there, then I need to import the model. So I can do that first. So admin.py. So I need to import the post model I created. So capital P. Um, okay, then I can copy this. Could do it this way as well, but let's do it this way. Just paste it, pass in post, and then we can say post admin. We have the title, the author, and create it at the ID and title, and author is enough. So now I need to know how to log into the admin interface. 
how to log into the Django admin interface. So before I read that, you can see that it actually gave me two options on how to register the models. You have the class based view like that. And you also have this where we first create a class and then we register it. So you can choose which you want. Okay, so to log into the admin interface, you need to create a super user account. So copy this, stop and run admin. Then I can run the server again. Okay, so then I just go there to slash admin. Then I could change the password if I wanted to do that, but I don't need because I can remember for more than two seconds. Then just log in. Then I have the posts here. So let me create a few. First post, the content. And the author is admin. Save, add, add another one. Second post. Just add some random things. And save. So now I have two. You can see the title here, the author, and the ID. Nice. But if I refresh, we don't have them here yet, of course. So that is the next step. How to get uh, objects from the post model in a view and render them in a template. Let me see if ChatGPT is smart enough to do this for me. So here it at least refers to the post model. Okay, I need to import this. So then go back here, go to views.py like that. Okay, I just want to use the home page. So this is how I get them from the database. And this is how I add them in the template. Oops. Save. Okay, so in this example I imported posts. See how I get them from the database. Then we set them in the query set in the render. Specify each template to use. And then in your post list, you can loop through the post like this. Okay. So open up home. And save it like this. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yes. So also added a horizontal ruler like that. So if I refresh now, I get the first post and second posts. Great. So now we have a very simple blog built with ChatGPT. Next step then is to create a detail page so we can go into this and see the detail page of the post. Um, so how can I create a detail page for the blog model for the sorry for the post model. So there are probably better ways to use ChatGPT. I haven't used it so much, but this is how I like to use it, and it seems to be working fine for me at least. Okay, so now I get information that I need to import this. Get object 404, that's smart, very nice to see that it's using that. I can just copy the whole view. And this is now post detail and it's getting it from the post model based on the primary key we have in the URL. And it says that I'm going to use the post detail.html, which should be located in this folder. Then I pass in the post into there. Great. So you can see here the explanation of how this is working. And then I have the template. Um, actually, I just want to copy this first. So create a new file, post detail.html, and block, and then just paste these four lines. And I can take this title, paste it there, and save. So then I just need to add this to the URLs file. Uh, what do I need in the URLs.py for the detail page? 
Okay, so to wire this together, we need to define a pattern in the URLs file that maps to the post detail view. So this is already done. Then we have this. Great. So just copy this line. Go back to urls.py. Paste it there. Okay, so now we get an error that this isn't defined. So if I just copy this, let me see if I can make ChatGPT fix this for me. I even get a updated version of the list page, the home page, on how to add the link to the detail page. Perfect. Um, I get an in the urls.py file. So let me just copy this URL so I can fix that while ChatGPT is working. So if I now go to home, just paste it there, like in the example. If I now refresh, I think I get an error. Yes, because this isn't the post detail, it's not a valid view. Yes, because I still have this error here. So let me go back to ChatGPT and see what it says. Okay, so from dot import views, that is not correct since I'm inside a different app, but that's okay. So from dot uh, blog import views, now this was working. Um, let me just write, but uh, views is inside. Uh, an app called blog. Let me see if I get the correct version then. Yes, yeah, so now it says that I need to adjust the import statement in urls.py. So now from blog import views, just like I did here. Perfect. So now I should be able to go here and refresh. And I should be able to click the title and be sent to the detail page. I see now that the created at isn't showing there and that's because it was created date and not created at so for the post detail page we could say created at but let chat gpt fix this the there isn't a field called created at it's created date so let me see if they can fix my template. So apologize for the confusion. So if it uses created date instead of created at, then in your view you need to blah blah blah. So everything was okay here, but in the post detail HTML template file. Let me see if there's this working. Yes, so it's changed to post created at. That's great, and the template here looks a little bit better. So let me just copy this, paste it like that, go back, refresh, and then the title, the author, the date, and then the content. Nice. So now I actually have a working blog built with chat GPT. If I go into the second, you will see this title instead. Great. So by doing this, you could keep working on this blog to add features like categories. You can add the comment and similar. There is no limits to what ChatGPT can do for you. You just have to be creative with the questions and be a little bit uh, skeptical with the code you get and make sure that it's working for you. Test it and see that it's working and ask follow up questions and similar. If you have any questions about this video or the code or how I use ChatGPT, if you want to learn more about this, then feel free to add a comment below and answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.